All right, so this is my ISP modem here. I just unplugged it. That's why the Wi-Fi dropped. But I'm gonna unplug it and show you guys how it syncs up. Uh, the five gigahertz flashes. Uh, zoom in. The five gigahertz flash 2.4. This is all all in one. Doxis 3.1. Uh, gateway modem uh, I rather have a regular modem and then my own uh, gaming router but I just didn't feel like that extra expense and then you know the way they make stuff nowadays is so crappy I this is probably my 12th modem since I lived here for four years uh, I'm not joking these things are junk and the ISP is selling them for $200. I'm still having speed issues, so I won't be able to do much for videos. So tonight, I called the internet provider again, and they don't know what's going on and all this and that. There's a congestion, too many people on there. They need to split nodes, and so the speed issues don't have issues because I'm paying for 150 down and 15 up. And then at night during the peak hours, peak demand when people are using it, I only get at least 70 to 60 megabyte download and then upload. Sometimes it's 15, but sometimes it's not even that. It struggles so bad. Um, but I do see the modem has a lot of uncorrectable errors, but the signals are good, which I don't understand. Um, so... They basically put all brand new cabling in my house, and it just I dropped the 200 megabytes to the 150 because I'm paying 100 dollars a month for services that I don't get, and plus 180 dollars a month now for 150 that I'm not even getting at night. And so I'm complaining. I keep complaining, keep complaining, keep. Com I'm gonna keep going doing it until they do something. I mean, I don't know. It's just ridiculous, and it's not just me. I see on the internet. There's a lot of reviews. So you unplug it, and these things typically take about five minutes to sync. Now, I'll show you, I don't want to show you my information, but uh, it's a uh, Hytron. It's got the uh, four things in the back there, and then a coax cable there. So, you go and plug her in. If I can get it in there. Okay, so it's got to do the sync. So these two blue LEDs stay on and they go off. And this is the power light. And then this will start flashing a down arrow green. And then this one will start flashing the, the up arrow green. And then the add will start flashing green and then it'll lock green and then this will be solid blue. So it takes, it takes a while because this is a Doxus modem and Hytron 45. I think it's a 45, uh, what is this, uh, 4582, and they're $200, they claim, and I, I just really think these things are junk, but they think they're so wonderful, the company, the they lowest bit, bitter crap, and I don't find reviews on the internet, so right now it's doing this sync, and then it'll sync here to green, and it'll flash back and forth, and then the at sign, and they'll both sync blue, that means it locked, and the at sign means it locked completely. The true blue means the true high speed. And uh, when your internet provider has issues, these things turn solid green and stop. And then your link status here will, right here, will start stop blinking. Here's the at sign. It should lock here now. This will turn blue first. Yep, and that one. And then this should lock. And then this will blink. Okay, yep, there we go. Now that's my surveillance systems on there and my computer all syncing. That's the link status. That's why it's always blinking. And then the Wi-Fi will start popping up and then the link status will stop and then it'll go back on again. That's just its normal sync. Yep, there's a 2.4 gigahertz and there's the 5 gigahertz. So that's what initially does, but every time that my ISP uh, did an internal test on their side they said it was getting the right speeds well tonight I was shocked the guy said that I'm only getting 50 megabytes download internally at that time I called him and before others said that was fine so there is definitely an issue on their side 
Um, it's been going on since March and don't seem to get any better. I don't think they really care about their customers, it seems like. In fact, the manager even came to my house and lied to my face and just a total moron, but whatever. So, um, anyway, these modems aren't bad. Um, I just think you should, like, not be close to them or touch them because they create quite a bit of radiation frequencies around it. And they even did a study on these things where you put a plant next to it and it actually kills the plant. So, um, I wouldn't be so close to this, maybe about a foot or two feet away. Um, but I'm going to put this up here so it stays cooler because my heat vents there. But uh, make sure your coax are all tight and everything. But like I said, I just want to do a short little review on this modem. How do I like it? I, it's okay. I don't think it has anything to do with my speed issues with this thing. I think it has to do with the provider. The ISP is just total junk. I really think so. Um, the 5 gigahertz and 2.4, I disabled band steering so that way it won't swap back and forth. That's a nice feature to have. And they have Monaco on there where you can hook your TiVos and, and stuff. And it, it's it's really a nice nice modem though. Uh, I'm not really a Hytron fan, but I'm more of a Motorola or, or uh, Aris or whatever they are now. And um, I used to be D-Link and uh, Netgear, but I'm not anymore. So, yeah, anyway, just a short review. Um, you guys ever consider getting these modems? Uh, I would just better opt to lease them because they tend to burn out a lot if you do a lot of heavy streaming. That's just my opinion. A lot of YouTubing and I don't know. I just don't think much of them. But they're huge. They're pretty darn big. They're big blocks. They're big. Alright, so if anybody ever wondered why I had internet problems, well, there you go. This is the big beast that causes the issues. I don't think it's that. I think it's the provider. Not Mint.